Now, Tech Tent, a new form of transport, could help relieve city congestion by using high-tech pods suspended from cables. The system could be running for real in just two years. For more, it's good morning to the king himself, Image Matrix Tech Editor, Juro Sanjuro. This sounds like a, a fancy cable car to me. San Francisco. <laughs> good morning, you, Tim. Uh, it does a little bit, but it's far from it. It is very high-tech, and it's already up and running in a test case in the UAE, in the Middle East. And this company, Yusky, uh, from uh, Belarus, is testing it now. And there you can see the high-tech pods, they sort of look like inside at the moment, like a business class seat. And they can travel up to 150 kilometres per hour. And unlike a traditional cable car, they aren't stuck with one going in a slow speed. You can have a number of these. So here's the sort of plan. You have these sort of slung around the city. Uh, they do look pretty cool, actually. When they light up at night, they sort of have this really nice lighting effect as well. But they're a much cheaper way. Uh, I think the company said, like, it was $150 million US for just a kilometre or, or a mile or so of uh, subway whereas it's only about 10 million US for, for one of these to go up. So the figures, anyway, are very big when it comes to traditional infrastructure. And you can see here, you can link them up to buildings, and it's a much cheaper way to go. And uh, they have several ideas of doing it, where they have these slung, uh, sort of a monorail thing as well for the larger ones. So it's very safe too, high technology. Uh, they won't run into each other because they're, they're very smart. But uh, it's, a, it's a cool way to travel. Could you imagine one of those going across the harbour, Tim? Yeah, absolutely. Probably not too far away either. Now, you've got <laughs> some good news for music fans on Android phones. Yeah, so uh, a lot of Android uh, users out there. And one of the things, there's a little bit of a market here in the music business. So Apple Music uh, is available on Android, and I've used both phones, obviously, all the time. But uh, the great thing now is that spatial audio and lossless audio is available for Android users. Here you can see me going through the Find X3 Pro, which, uh, unfortunately enough, this is one of the ones here, does support Atmos, Dolby Atmos. So if your phone is an Android phone and supports it, you will get spatial audio with your wonderful uh, the subscription to all the great music out there. And spatial audio is basically like stereo on steroids. You've got all this music happening around you. The separation of the guitars, the drums, the vocals is really cool. And so they're really blowing up their catalogue now to introduce lossless, which is the high quality stuff, uh, that doesn't have as much compression uh, when it comes to your listening pleasure. But when it comes to spatial audio, this is a big deal because this streaming market has just exploded and, you know, Apple's one of the key players. And don't forget, like, Google Play Music went away and they pushed on the Android side, Google pushed you towards the YouTube music. They're not everyone's happy with that. So this is good news. And you can see, I think, uh, the Bee Gees uh, playing there on the phone last night. Oh, a little bit of Saturday night fever. You had your uh, your, your <laughs> white jeans on. Uh, now, um, Ken, you can visit Japan from your lounge room uh, with virtual reality. I think a lot of people are enjoying uh, what has been a very successful start to the Olympic Games. Yeah, Tim, but uh, I was there a couple of years ago. But if you have something like this, the uh, Oculus Quest 2, it's a virtual reality headset and you have uh, controllers like this, in a few days' time, you'll be able to virtually tour places like Japan because it's not just going to the Olympics themselves. If you set yourself up in your lounge room here, this is important because if you walk around, you could run into a, a lounge chair or a lamp. So once you do that, uh, you'll be able to experience this sort of stuff. Here are some uh, little previews of the videos which are off the beaten track. That's the wonderful thing about going to the Olympics. It's not just the games, but experiencing the culture. So using a VR headset is one way of escaping uh, and getting to Japan. So I encourage uh, uh, people to try it out when you can. Uh, if you have a quest, uh, and look, this is me in Japan just a couple of years ago doing the Ninja, and uh, that's, uh, the Ninja Dojo was just a great experience. And these are the sorts of things you'll discover in these videos off the beaten track, and you can see me carving up. And, Tim, you know all about VR because this is us enjoying a virtual red wine only a few months back. Yeah, and, I, and I, I really love the slimming virtual reality camera you use particularly for me. That, uh, that's got to be some sort of 
<laughs> Got to be some sort of COVID challenge for me. But, uh, Juro, you must be desperate uh, to, to get travelling again at some point soon. Uh, you, you're getting your second jab soon as well. Yeah, I'm due, uh, I think, next week. So I'm pretty uh, excited about that. In fact, the whole family here, we've, we've all got grown-up girls, uh, are pretty close to being uh, finished off in terms of uh, inoculations. So really excited. Uh, it's really been hard because a lot of the stuff I do is shooting out and about uh, in the country. And I want to do some um, astronomy-based photography as, as well. And it's really frustrating. Drones, I love flying drones. So it is, it is really frustrating. Fortunately, I've got a lot of editing to do in this studio and uh, I'm trying to make it uh, the best I can uh, when I do a cross to good people like yourself, Tim. Oh, thank you for the wrap, my dear old thing. The, uh, <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll be back doing that kind of travel very, very soon. And once it does happen, I think everyone will appreciate it even more, to be honest with you. Juro, good to chat. Thanks, Tim. Speak to you next week.